Okay, in this video, I'm going to use a logic level converter to shift signals between 3.3 volts and 5 volts and back. Um, for some converters, you can also use for 2.8 and 1.8 volts, but um, for this video, I'm going to use 3.3 and 5 because there, there are so many common devices that use those voltages. So you might use this between... Um, Two devices using a serial protocol for the receive and transmission pins, or maybe two devices using I squared C that are at different voltages, and uh, you would use the converter on the data and clock bus pins. And these converters can be bidirectional or unidirectional. Most of the ones I see now are bidirectional, so that means you can you can convert both ways. You can go from, for example, 3.3 volts can step it up to 5 volts and then you can also go the other way you can uh, go 5 volts and step it down to 3 volts and some of the devices you might use this for are an, like an Arduino Uno whose logic levels are at 5 volts and <clears throat> you want to connect it to like an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which is 3.3 volts so the serial pins you would use a converter between them uh, to step those voltages up and down between 5 and 3.3. The temp 102 temperature sensor, same thing, it runs at 3.3 volts, so you would need a logic level converter to connect that to an Arduino. Uh, if you wanted to connect a, a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino together through maybe their serial ports, uh, you could use a logic level converter because the Raspberry Pi is at 3.3 volts and Arduino is at 5, and or Raspberry Pi to maybe some integrated circuit chips that run at 5 volts, you could use the converter. Okay, so this is a typical um, logic level converter, and so this side is the low voltage side, this side is the high voltage side, and uh, LV is where you would connect the 3.3 volt uh, pin to the power rail. Uh, ground would go to ground, and also the grounds sh should share a common ground, so the 3.3 volt ground should also connect to the 5 volt ground, so you do that here on the breadboard. And then LV1... LV2, LV3, and LV4 correspond to HV1, HV2, HV3, and HV4. So that's what gets converted. So uh, HV1 and LV1 are, are connected 3.3 uh, volts on this side, 5 volts on that side. And then also, of course, you have the HV on the high side, and that would connect to the 5-volt power rail. Okay, so here I've hooked up an Arduino to a circuit that uses a temp... 102 uh, temperature uh, sensor module and the temp 102 like I said earlier is works on 3.3 volts so the this power rail here is the 3.3 volt power rail and that's being powered from the Arduino actually both 3.3 and the 5 volt power rails are powered from the Arduino so the 5 volt power rail is on this side of the breadboard 3.3 over here so you can see uh, the 3.3 is what's powering the temp 102. Uh, the, this module uses the I squared C protocol. So we need to shift the the data bus and the clock bus uh, of the I squared C from 3.3 to 5 and going to the Arduino. And from the Arduino, it needs to be shifted from 5 to 3.3. So this is the the converter here. And you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but these two gray gray lines are the clock and data, and they they correspond to analog 4 and 5, the white and blue wires. So that's where the logic's getting converted so they can talk to each other. And so this is on now, and it's taking temperatures, writing it out to the, uh, the serial monitors. It's a real simple Arduino sketch. Um, so just to show that it's actually working. And so I've also hooked up an oscilloscope to the data pins on each side. So um, I've got the oscilloscope set to single shot mode. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, so and you can see, so the blue line corresponds to the um, the five volts. So that's channel two, and you can see it's one volt per division. And if you count the divisions on the blue, um, 
so it's like one two three four five volts and then on the on the other side of the logic level converter uh, is the 3.3 volt line and you, you, you can see how they line up and that's also one volt per division so that's one two three so um, so on the data channel uh, a three volt uh, data element coming through gets converted to five volts and you can see it happens all the way through so anyway that's just a quick demonstration to show that the the logic level converter is, is working it really is shifting the voltages um, and like I said you, you should some people don't use these um, and sometimes they may work you know the Arduino doesn't have to, it doesn't really have to be five volts I think it actually will count it as a one if it's I think at three volts so it will probably read a 3.3 volt but you probably shouldn't send five volts the other way so a five volt going into the temp 102 I don't know I think maybe damage damage the sensor so anyway uh hope you enjoyed the video